Nice. Nice. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, so the skiff's here at my house. It's usually not here, and that is because I got to do some skiff maintenance. Not so much to the boat, but you know, trailers, trailer lights, that type of stuff. Yeah, so, you know, I always show like the exciting, you know, on the water, I'm a fishing guide in my life so great <laughs> moments but there's a lot more of these moments than there are of those moments So, I'm really not looking forward to this job. All right, so this little thing almost took me down. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to rewire the entire trailer was not getting any juice to the lights or well, one light anyway and uh, I did find a short but it was this guy so disaster averted so I was gonna film this whole axle replacement thing it was just too much of a hassle but that part right there that's dipping down I took that out sanded all the rust off of it regalvanized it and put it back in mostly just cosmetic but not having all that rust on it make it last at least a little while longer anyway i gotta get out of here Just another massive fire on the Texas coast. Not sure what this is. There's always something burning down here. I guess it's just uh, some fields on fire. Massive fire. Pretty common occurrence down here for whatever reason. Just like that, I'm back. <laughs> I will be spending the rest of the year, the rest of my fishing season here in the trailer down at the Texas coast. So that's why I had to bring the boat up to Austin and do all that maintenance and stuff. But uh, it's pretty exciting because uh, now the temperature's starting to cool down. I feel like I was in hibernation the last two and a half months with triple digit 
temperatures every day. Now we're having highs in the uh, 90s, <laughs> low to mid 90s, and we're having some lows in the 60s and 70s. So it's getting to be a much more tolerable climate. And I think the redfish are going to be pretty excited about it. I know I'm excited about it. So all we got to do now is go catch some fish. Uh huh. Oh, jeez. Didn't even see that guy. Oh, yeah. Woo Dude, I had to paint a mustache on that fish. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's what you got to do. Gotta feed it to him. Gotta feed him. I'm up here. Kind of hovering there a little longer than I want it to. I mean, he didn't even really want to eat that fly. I just put it literally like in between his lips. That's the only reason he ate it. Seriously. He was like trying to swim past it, but oh, get away from the push pole. Not a beast, but he's the first one in the boat. Oh, not a bad one. Mm -mm. Take it. It's pretty. You know, the bad one's the one that don't eat it. Yeah, the, oh, I've found plenty of those before. Here we go, yeah, man. this little dude. Got the, got the skunk out the boat. We'll take it though. Yes. A little release. There he goes. All right, dude. All right. Give me Here the high go. five on that one. Boom. All right. <laughs> you did this similar thing. Got the skunk out the boat. Now we got to catch some more. A little short still. All right, there you go. Oh. Oh. Somebody tried to get Yeah, that's better cast. Come on, fish. Yeah. I need this one. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a drum? I thought it was a I thought it was a sheep's head. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. 
day, man. Yeah, man. Day eight. You don't even have to be perfect with it. Man. The last chance spot. <laughs> Talking about that's that's a fish that's moving in it. <laughs> well, that might do it. Ye oh yes, that's a better fish. There you go. Alright, that was a pretty awesome first day of the fall season. I want to thank Bonner for coming down and catching all those fish. <laughs> you know, it is almost as much fun to watch other people catch fish as it is to catch them myself. Some days it's even more fun. Today was one of those days. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And as always, good luck on the water.